Everyone was shaking hands. Everyone is, you know, good job. And it's super nice to see here. Gracious professionalism exactly. is a term that we have used often here at First Global. It's something you see the embodiment of as well as seeing it in person on the field, as Sarah was alluding to. I think we have our next playoff match lined up with Alliance's number six and three. We're going to get you down there right now in three, two, one, go. The robots are making their way off to the races swiftly making their way across the field. Looks like Blue Alliance already has some of their macro and micro pollutants in their possession, trying to make their way over to the center barge. We're gonna see where they end up scoring all of those pollutants. So, the, oh, sorry, man. sorry, you got it. I'm just you. gonna introduce the teams. The teams that make up the Blue Alliance are Belarus, Moldova, Norway, and Team Hope, while the teams that make up the Red Alliance are Nepal, Denmark, Lebanon, and Greece. You got one team in the form of Greece, Lebanon, Denmark, and Nepal that's coming in, winning their first match. We'll see if they can pick up the second W here. Meanwhile, Belarus, Moldova, Norway, and Team Hope, they did not win their first match. This second one, however, if they come out on top, it is anybody's playoff matchup. Right now, you're seeing those micro pollutants being dumped in and thrown in, for that matter, to the top part of that barge, six points apiece. And right now, it looks like that Red Alliance has developed quite a healthy lead. Well, we've seen this before. Red Alliance maybe had a healthy lead now, but Blue Alliance could easily make a comeback trying to score any of their micro or macro balloons into their top. It looks like some robots are making their way towards that center barge at the moment, slowly and surely. We'll see how many they can score up there for six points each. Team Moldova does not disappoint. They've been using this bucket strategy throughout the game, and somehow, right at the last second, they just managed to dump everything in their possession into that center processing part, so it really could be anyone's game right now. It is and a I, super interesting strategy. I was going to say, not only is Team Moldova not of disappointment, right now we've got the fans up here who have been waving this flag all day. It's been in the corner of my eye. At some point, we might be able to get you up into that fan section, but they certainly deserve credit as well for coming out in full support of their nation, as well as the many other people that that we have here, not just in attendance, but competing on this stage. All right, and just like we were talking about before, it looks like the Blue Alliance is lined up. They have plenty of their micro and macro pollutants successfully scored into the top four, six points each. Looks like their Alliance partner, they're coming up right behind them with some of their macros, successfully scoring in one, two, three, four, and a couple of their micros with 30 seconds on the clock. Woo! As these scores start working their way up, you're hearing the applause is starting to build. You're also hearing the stress in some way, shape, or form starting to build. I wouldn't even say hear it. You could actually see it on some of these guys' faces. It really is incredible. You can see the emotion in every single person on each of these alliances. That also includes the mentors. Think of how hard they've worked to try to not just build a team, but to make one field a successful results on this. And right now, it looks like the Red Alliance is going to be successful. We've got people jumping up and down, not only on the field, fist pumping as well. Coming up with chants, we can hear it in our ears as well. So I'm sure you can hear it at home. It's been a phenomenal experience, not just in the qualification matches, but in these playoffs as well. Yeah, these robots have been super impressive. And throughout the competition, as we've stated before, this may be the first time that these robots are playing on an actual playing field of this capacity. So I think it's very interesting how well that they've adapted, how quickly they've you know, learned the outline of the field, how quickly they've learned how to work with their teammates. Because not, I mean, they're different countries. How often do you get to scrimmage with other teams? You can see the Red Alliance over there. We saw earlier on one of those women gritting her teeth and then pounding the edge of the arena, just waiting for those scores. I have never been in this heat of competition before in robotics, but I have to imagine, Sarah, that from your perspective or from your experience, it's got to be a long time that they're waiting. Yeah, this is, uh, this is making my chest a little tight watching because I'm as anxious as they are to get these scores, and we'll get them in one moment. 138 to 159. We will be going to a third match for these alliances. I was going to say part of the reason why is because that sixth-ranked alliance of Greece, Lebanon, Denmark, and Nepal won the first game. They lost the second. Meanwhile, it's flipping the script with the alliance that is third-ranked. Belarus, Moldova, Norway, and Hope did not win their first match, just won the one that we just watched. So each of those teams at one and one may very well compete down the line.